a perfect. That's not a flex. Shut the fuck up. This is a real nigga channel. The game will be restored by any means necessary. We are not perverts. We are the players. We lead with game. No matter where they land that plane. Can you dig that? You, 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 you are a pervert. Yes, yes, yes. These bitches shall lose fucking with us. We are not in the business of giving bitches a win. Value yourself as a goddamn man and let the game begin. Turn this motherfucker up, man. We finna go there today, nigga. Where's my bitch? Special delivery. It's the 126. Cut that shit up, man. So. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. All that rich. Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Trying to tap on a cool case, stop it. We take it, hook, get sloppy. Hook, I send a shooter, go find me. Hook, chopping it. I'm only smoking this out of shit. Wanna know where your bitch is, sloppy shit. Hook, pulling up, drink this is out of shit. Hook, she taking up chill like a pilot bitch. Where did your bitch go? She went to be a hoe. Take up the cake cut, I gotta get the dough. Take all the shit, this a broad day kid though. Feeling drunk back to back, take all the info. Which way, wet way, where did your bitch go? They got the hot stuff, dig on the tip toe. Put our two in sliding in Lambo. Cut on my bitch, she turned to a big hoe. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. All that rich. Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Blood up in the throat. Niggas feeling man, I hope you rejuvenated, nigga. Hope you had a good weekend. I hope you niggas got out here in these streets. It is sundress season, the hose is out. There's no excuses. I don't want to hear no excuses, nigga. Man, I love seeing my girl in a sundress, man. No draw. Booty smoking! I know all y'all niggas eating from the bite. Y'all right tonight. It's sundress season, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Get out. Get in the streets and get active. Hoes been waiting all day, all year long to wear motherfucking flip-flops, sandals, let their hair down, and wear that sundress. A lot of you fat hoes can't wear no sundress. I want to see no fat hoes in the sundress. Thou shalt not wear a sundress if you are obese. If you look on Instagram, no fat bitches is winning. I don't know how they do it. Fat bitches got a following, man. Fat bitches got a following. I seen a fat bitch on there jiggling. She got like 300,000 followers. Niggas, what is wrong with us? We have poor taste. Her arms look like thighs. All like anything that wiggles. Y'all would fuck an elephant. If an elephant put on a dog and started twerking, y'all would find a way to hump on it, man. I'm trying to tell you the way, man. Stop embarrassing y'all selves with these motherfucking hefty hoes, man. You know? You ain't never seen a bitch walk in sweat. The bitch be talking in sweat. You know? 
The bitch be writing and sweating. How do you sweat when you write? She breathing hard writing. <sighs> that bitch got chocolate flavored toothpaste. Like, a chocolate flavored toothpaste. Ain't you a big bitch? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Y'all stop hanging out at the buffet trying to pull a bitch coming out the buffet, man. I be seeing y'all niggas. I know, I know what you niggas trying to do, nigga. Shout out to all the personal trainers getting the cute fat bitch trying to work out and build the bitch for itself. Don't think I don't know. You are very patient, but They like to rehabilitate a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's that that that's a no, that's a whole nother level of game. I ain't finna rehabilitate a bitch. God damn. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see them niggas do that shit. You know, shout out to you fat bitches that uh that got your motherfucking BBL and you got confidence now. <laughs> got your nose in there, like we don't know you used to be a fat bitch. Shout out to the bitches with the BBLs in the uh, in the gym doing workout videos for motivation. <laughs> You're a <all right>, nut. <laughs> you know. Shout out to these niggas out here with these patchy beards running around here talking shit on the internet. <laughs> Brush your face. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ass eating purrs. <laughs> Shout out to the prostitute purchasers. <laughs> we see y'all. Purrs, purrs, purrs. Get your teeth fixed. PC's face. You know. Man, what's good, man? We here to cook, man. How y'all feeling, man? You know, I had to do it, man. Y'all asked for it, so I had to, you know, I got to dig in the crates and I got to do my research, you know? Amanda Seals, I can't stand this bitch. She is the definition of a waste of a bitch. And if you get a chance, go to the video on this channel, type in Amanda in the search, and you're going to see the video called A Waste of a Bitch. A Waste of a Bad Bitch. <laughs> Definitely an eye opener. It's definitely an eye opener. And what you will learn is that no matter how good a bitch may look, you know what I'm saying? Being an asshole automatically is a turnoff to a real nigga. Some of you niggas endure dealing with these uppity ass bitches for the sake of trying to uh, appease the pussy. So we're not here to appease the pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to appease the pussy. We worth a damn. Some of you niggas got to ask yourself, when you, when you want to advocate for this trick and shit, ask yourself, are you worth a damn? Because I thought the goal was for bitches to be infatuated with you, bitches to be uh, um, head over heels over you, bitches to, bitches to you know, uh, uh, um, desire you, chemistry. These type of niggas don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? And these type of niggas usually become sexual deviants because they can purchase this sick ass sex. You know? And no real nigga wants to be fucking a bitch that don't want to fuck them back. You know what I'm saying? That that's 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 on the borderline of like some psychotic shit. Fucking a bitch that don't want to be fucked. You're weird. You know? Fuck it. Fucking a bitch because the bitch only fucking you because she got to pay her rent. You know, putting a bitch in a desperate position, you know what I'm saying, to get the pussy. We don't play that game, man. We the players, man. If a bitch don't like you, don't, put, don't press the issue. Shoot your shot. If you land, you in there. If you don't, you learn from it. 
You got to get out here in this game and get your get your scrapes, bruises, and cuts, nigga. Some of you niggas scared of rejection. Just like these bitches. These bitches can't take rejection, but you niggas scared of it. Niggas is scared of rejection. Bitches can't take rejection. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. The craziest bitches, the craziest bitches in the fucking world are fine ass light skinned bitches that you have to turn down or dump. <laughs> You turn down or reject, you know what I'm saying, or dismiss a light-skinned bitch, especially a mixed one, a bitch that been getting all the attention in the world. She's not used to being rejected and dumped. Those bitches go crazy. That is a dangerous bitch. See, dark-skinned bitches been getting kicked to the curb for a long time. You know what I'm saying? You know, but when you have to kick a light skinned bitch to the curb, she ain't never seen it. She's been she's been the Barbie of the of the of the neighborhood her whole life. Niggas have fought over her. She has caused division amongst groups of men. She has never expected to be rejected and dismissed. And when you hurt them hoes, they coming for you. I've been through that, bro. I'm telling you. They get to stalking, harassing you, you know, threatening you. They'll come up to your job. They'll be sitting on your car when you get off. You know? Most niggas' horror stories come from a light-skinned bitch. A lot of, I'm telling you. That's one bitch that can't be dumped. She don't believe it can happen. But when you a man that feels like you're worth a damn and you got discipline and pussy don't move you, you need more than pussy from a bitch. She ain't never seen that. She never heard that. She gonna be like, what are you, crazy? What are you, gay? What, Bitch, tuck your pussy in and kick rocks. <laughs> The biggest problem with niggas is they allow these bitches to fuck their way into forgiveness. And that's why y'all niggas be stuck in these situations. It's been tw too many times you've seen red flags where you should have left, but you let that bitch fuck her way into forgiveness. And then when she get fed up, she just bounces. You're like, whoa, I don't get a second chance. No. Because bitches don't leave niggas to be alone. And the reason why these bitches are scorned is because they are alone. They didn't see it coming. They wasn't prepared. Trust and believe every last one of us in here have been dumped by a woman. And trust and believe there was a nigga already in transition. She did not leave you to be alone and find herself. If you believe that, you're just as stupid as the bitch. <laughs> Stop making yourself available for these motherfucking bitches too. They're called exes for a reason. You block them on every avenue possible. You know, because some of you niggas still leave yourselves wide open for communication. These hoes should be dead to you. If a bitch do you dirty, she should be dead to you. But you weak for pussy. And even if even if you uh uh try to double back, the bitch is never gonna be the same. 
Once she, once she gets on another man's program and tries to come back on your program, the bitch still got the residue of the last man's program. That's why when you're dealing with a bitch up to date, you know what I'm saying? You're dealing with her past niggas' experiences, how they programmed her. You got to undo a lot of the bullshit that she went through to get her on your motherfucking program and get you get her on your accord. That's a that's a job in itself. It's better to just start off brand new. And we talking about petty bitches anyway. Bitches don't let shit go. You know what I'm saying? You dump these bitches up today. They are scorned and they're going to go on social media and air you out. That is the most dangerous part of dating women today. Because they don't keep anything sacred. Your biggest fear in the world should not be the white man. It should be your ex bitch with a motherfucking uh, smartphone. Because those bitter, scorned ass bitches don't want to see you happy. If you're doing better than your exes, she's not going to like that shit. If you're doing better without her with someone else, she's going to hate that shit. She's going to hate on that shit. She's going to find some way to destroy that shit. She's going to find some way to put herself in the picture. And a big red flag is a beautiful woman with no kids still out here dating and she's older. That's a woman who can't retain a man for a damn reason. That's an obvious sign that this woman needs to be put in a recreational use category. And don't let her be argumentative, opinionated, and overeducated. She's no good to you. She's not even going to be uh, uh, good to the white man that she tries to uh, lean on. Because you know that's where they go. They try to go to the white man. Try to run game on them because they don't know the black woman like we do. Then when that don't work, what do they start doing? Lesbianism. I always told y'all the lowest form of single motherhood is lesbianism. How you a lesbian with kids? See, we are not like black women. Once we stop dealing with black women, we don't come back. Reason being is because we got we get to see what actual femininity is in other cultures. It's not about skin tone. It's about the cultures. The foundational black American woman culture is a masculine culture. So when a brother gets with a a beautiful white woman, a beautiful uh, uh, Asian woman, a Mexican woman or something like that. He does not come back. He's, he, he's seen what harmony is and he experienced what headaches are. And niggas don't want the headache. The things that men ask for from you women don't cost a dime. But yet you still can't give it to us. You can't do what other women do naturally, which is be feminine, fun, lively, inspirational, supportive, submissive, cooperative. These words sound like slavery to the black woman.
the black woman's retention skills for holding a man sucks. She is appealing and beautiful enough to gain the attention of a man and get herself in the door, but she can't stay in the house because of her mother fucking mouth. Women like Amanda Seals talk their way out of good things. And these will be the same women who get upwards in age and say, marriage is not for everyone. I don't want kids. And she has to marry her profession at this point. And her life will consist of casual sex. Due to the fact that she's problematic. No one cares how good she may look, how wavy her hair is. Niggas will pass up on that for peace of mind. She gets ran through. She gets rejected. And upon that rejection comes vengeance. She's an example. See, it's not about just her. It's, she is an example of what you're going to be dealing with today. Oh, I got my master's and this, this, and this, this, and that. Oh, I've been proposed to five times. I've been engaged three times. Never won a championship. By her own sabotaging. This is a shame. It's a shame that you women claim that you want all of these, all of these great characteristics and traits out of men. And men need to provide, protect us, and be romantic and chivalrous and be gentlemen. Well, you talked yourself out of that. You articulated yourself out of that. By trying to be a man, by trying to be a competitor instead of a companion. Now, women have been conditioned and trained to be liars. At a young age, women automatically noticed as a young girl that the world is sympathetic to women and that men are always wrong. They have been lying on men since childhood. Little boys lying on them. Oh, he hit me ever since then. They've been able to manipulate the daddy's little girls with manipulators. Those are manipulators in training. You know? Little girls start lying fast. They see their mama doing it. They see what their mama's able to get away with it and they start testing the waters at a very young age. They realize that all attention is on girls and boys are neglected. Since childhood. You know? You know? Been lied on by little girls when I was, when I was a young boy. We all have. Girls tell tales, nigga. They've been doing it for the longest. How many times you see stories of girls in high school who get caught fucking 
Well, uh, they, they mama found out they was fucking, and then they throw a charge on the on the young boy that they was fucking on. All so that she don't get in trouble. And at a young age, these girls realize how powerful their complaints are. Even with no substantiated proof, they realize at a young age that they don't have to prove anything. All they have to do is just say something. But unfortunately, at a young age, boys don't realize that girls do that. That's when we come in. We're here to teach the youth, the young, the young men, what they are up against. You can teach them all that white man, white supremacy shit all you want to, but he'll never experience it. He's going to experience Keisha, Tasha, Alexis, and Veronica. Those are the women who have been programmed to destroy men since childhood. Just like this. Ew, no, Rose, we're cousins. It's just a kiss. No, I'm telling my mom. Rose, what is this wrong? Mommy, Khalil pushed me down because I said no to his kisses. What? You see, the lying starts at childhood. At childhood. Ew, no, Rose, we're cousins. It's just a kiss. No, I'm telling my mom. Rose, what is wrong? Mommy, Khalil pushed me down because I said no to his kisses. What? Mom, she's lying. She tried to get me to play house and I said no. See, I knew he was no good. Khalil, did you touch Rose? Not in the way she's saying. See, this is the problem being raised by all women. You're always wrong. You're always on the defense. You're always outnumbered. Women stick together. No, Rose, we're cousins. It's just a kiss. No, I'm telling my mom. Rose, what is wrong? Mommy, Khalil pushed me down because I said no to his kisses. What? Mom, she's lying. She tried to get me to play house and I said no. See, I knew he was no good. Khalil, did you touch Rose? Not in the way she's saying. She only fell because she tried to get me to play house and I said no. He's lying. What's going on? Shelly, did you see Khalil touch Rose? No, I was in the bathroom. But Rose said that Khalil tried to kiss her. Be sure, Shelly. Yes, I'm sure, Auntie. Me and Khalil, we were playing a game. Rose wanted to play house, and Khalil said no. See, and when Shelly went to the bathroom, Rose tried to kiss me. No, he didn't. He pushed me, Mommy. Come here, baby. Khalil, this is your baby cousin. What's wrong with you? Khalil, I told you to build your best behavior. Now, even when he got a witness, he's still wrong. I had cousins that was messing around when we was kids. I was like, y'all nasty. Mom, please. I would never. You're a liar. Mom. I Shelly, how could you let this happen? You were supposed to be protecting your sister. I'm sorry, Mom. Khalil, get your stuff. We're leaving and you're on punishment. Maya, look, this is the last time I'm going to come over here. We can see each other at family events, but that's it. Like, seriously? You don't even really know what happened. So you call my daughter liar? Get out my house. Actually, this is the last time we can see each other at all. Are you happy now? You shamed the both of us. You're a disgrace. I didn't do it, I swear. That's what black men go through as a young boy. That's what you're going to be conditioned uh, with when you're growing up with aunties, sisters, and, and single mothers. <laughs> Young girls get rejected and then start lying. Get dumped, start lying. They don't get their way, they start lying. And they mother back the lies. This is why women are such great liars. Because they have a support system. A support system that will help them 
facilitate these lives. Let's get these super chats in. <laughs> Shout out my super chat people, man. Shout out to Marcus Majors, man. You know what I'm saying? What'd he say? I can't see that shit. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Soul with the 10. Shout out to uh uh it's Gotti TV with that Tim with that uh two piece. You know, shout out to Rome, hashtag TBAS with the five piece. You know, but yes. So they're conditioned at a young age to lie. Instead of facing, he say, uh, stench of the winch. Okay. Okay, Marcus. I see you, bro. Stench of the winch. But they've been conditioned to lie since childhood. They realize the power in their words as a child. You know what I'm saying? They are empowered to be the liars that they are today. This shit didn't just happen overnight. This is a learned behavior. You know? Now, with Amanda Seals, Amanda Seals has terrible man retention skills. She could not retain a man to save her damn life. She will fuck up a relationship simply by talking. You know, simply by talking. And I just find it funny that this bitch thinks she's actually funny. Like I told y'all, female comedians, there's no funny comedians that's female. They're just loud and they curse. There are no funny females. They're just not funny. They could be all right hosts. They could be lively hosts. They could do like Steve Harvey. That's about as funny as they will get. You know? And anybody who say, oh, this motherfucker funny, oh, I guarantee you, you, she's just loud and she curse a lot. Like some more and all of They just cuss. Uh, Adele Givens, they just cuss. They not funny. There hasn't been one funny female comedian. I, I can't name one. I really can't name one. I can't name one. Monique? How the fuck is Monique funny? Monique gets laughed. She gets laughed at. Because you got a fat... You got a fat bitch with little titties and hairy legs, you know what I'm saying, on stage cursing. All she do is rant. I haven't, I have not seen any funny females. I have. Like she bombed, Amanda Seals bombs at her stand up comedian shit. She need to hang that shit up. Up being all about this child that was like a savior to the world being born and folks in America be like booing Jesus like and we got a laugh factory in Chicago I don't know which one this was but my god she's terrible uh Minnesota County says uh they not talk to love or respect back males no they're not this bitch is terrible at comedy. I just had to, I just had to premiere this shit before we really get into this motherfucking topic, man. But because this shit was just funny as hell. Christmas ended up being all about this child that was like a savior to the world being born. And folks in America Are you like booing Jesus? What was your boo about? See, let me tell you about what, 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 what white people do. I suck? Oh, this is fun. Tell me why I suck. I'm not funny. Oh, 
It's crazy because I'm being paid to be funny right now. Now, if I ask him to come up on stage, you think he's gonna come up on stage? No, you're not gonna come up on stage because I will crucify you. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so fucking smarter than you. <laughs> they actually clapped for that bullshit. <laughs> I ain't got a right sheep now. None of that. Put that bitch in front of me. I will fry her motherfucking ass. Soggy body looking at Coming to the fucking comedy club dressed like a goddamn art teacher. Fuck out of here. Go play in the sand with some seashells. This bitch is not funny. Thrift store shop. You are far too skinny to have sandy titties. Stop it. You're a waste of a bitch. Shout out to my brother Yada. Sponsoring us with a hundred dollar holler. Turn up, y'all! Shout out to Yada, man. Yada's in the church, man. Big bitches! All big bitches! Holla at my nigga Yada! He just got paid! Holla at my nigga Yada! He taking bitches to buffet! All the big bitches! Get at my nigga King Yada on Instagram! He will eat that from the bank. He is the BBW King Ambassador. We get two more sponsors. I'm going robed out. I'm going white robe. Holier than thou today. Shout out to Yada, man. The BBW specialist, man. This bitch really thinks Christmas ended up being all about this child that was like a savior to the world being born. And folks in America, are you like booing Jesus? What was your boo about? See, let me tell you about what white, 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 white people do. It's just so crazy that, you know, you're a mixed ass bitch and you're racist. You know, like, knock it off. You had to go, you had to go to college to, to learn how to be black. Me, I just jumped off the porch. I just went outside and was black. You, after you got out of Nickelodeon, you had to go to school to learn how to be black. This is something new to you and it excites you. This is something that I was born doing and I'm tired of it. Tired of niggas. You're fascinated by niggas. I'm sick of them. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Are you like booing Jesus? What was your boo about? See, let me tell you about what, 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 what white people do. You suck. I suck? Oh, this is fun. Tell me why I suck. I'm not funny. Not at all. No. It's crazy because I'm being paid to be funny right now. Now, if I ask him to come up on stage, you think he's gonna come up on stage? No, you're not gonna come up on stage because I will crucify you. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so fucking smarter than you. You suck. Shout out to Gabriel with the $15 on the cash app. Hey, man, y'all keep supporting this show, man. I definitely appreciate it. This motherfucking bitch is not funny, man. But like her and many other bitches, they get overly educated and can't retain men and don't know why. Well, it's your mouth. You know, we like deep throats, not deep quotes.
Yeah, you had to be real drunk to be laughing at that shit. What made her think that that was? He is so not funny. If, I don't know. Maybe white people find that shit funny. I don't. I like my comedians like Corey Holcomb, motherfucking uh, Bernie Mac, Cat Williams. You know what I'm saying? Nigga in Chicago named Ballhead. Nigga in Chicago named Marlon. You know what I'm saying? Leon Rogers. I like motherfuckers who talk that shit. You know, DC Young, fly, funny little motherfucker. Um, man, um, trying to think like who funny now? Patrice O'Neal. You know, real niggas, man. I don't. This these motherfuckers are whack. You know, I like my comedy raw. I like my co my comedy get you canceled. I don't like all that fuck shit. I don't even like Dave Chappelle. I never did. I never seen what the big deal was about him. He's funny in movies. I like Robin Harris, you know. He was funny in movies and shit, but, you know, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, you know, Martin Lawrence, you know. Definitely, Corey Hogan, my favorite comedian of all time, though. You know what I'm saying? But these motherfuckers? They're fucking garbage, man. They're fucking garbage. You know? But yes, women like this have terrible retention skills of holding in a man. They can't do it. They can do all the accomplishments in the world except be a good woman to a good man and not fuck up the relationship. I bet you if you interview any of Amanda Seals' exes, they gonna tell you they stepped away. They stepped away. And if, and if she stepped away, they were happy as hell. Yeah, I like Eddie Griffith too. Joe Torrey. See, y'all know the type of comedy I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm not the biggest Kevin Hart fan. It's all right. It's kind of commercial. I like it raw. Pause. No rainbow, no ditty. Drizzle, drizzle. You know, you know, but yeah, motherfuckers going to always ask her, are you married? Because she talk all this shit about black men, all this shit about relationships. Are you married? Who you with? Niggas are not picking her. Niggas might pound her out, but nobody's picking her for a damn good reason. And we got to start exploring that reason because so many of you motherfucking niggas get out here and start being cheerleaders for the bitch like a Boyce Watkins. You want to fire off all the accomplishments of your bitch, but does the bitch even like you? Is the bitch even likable? Is the bitch a breath of fresh air or is she suffocating you? You know? And that's what Amanda Seals is. Her mouth will forever keep her single. She's only getting older. She will be on cocktails in Queens in no time. They are just waiting for her to get a little bit more old. And once we see that first wrinkle, she's on the show. The seals. She was great. Is she married? She's very funny. Is she married? I was. <laughs> Is she married? See, these niggas be caping for her ass, but we gotta really break her down. Shout out to Ocho. I had no pro problem with Amanda Seals. She was great. Is she married? She's very funny. Is she married? I was excited to have her. Is she married? She taught me a lot of things. Is she married? She's highly, highly. Is she married? 
highly, highly educated. She's she married? Real verse. Is she married? She can sing. Is she married? She's a comedian. Is she married? She's a writer. Is she married? But she, oh. Is she married? No, she's not married. She's not married. The same day, huh? I mean, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you list all the qualities that she has, yeah. and I'm just curious if, if, if she was married because that sounds like that, that's a great kiss for someone. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that sounds like some flaws. For some. <laughs> Shout out to Gilbert. See, niggas see through all y'all accomplishments. Y'all can't hide behind y'all accomplishments because y'all still be socially awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Because as educated as she is, right? Yeah. She's, she's, there's a standard of a man that she's looking for. Right. Yeah. If it's not on the same educational level as her, she's going right. to right down on. Yeah. She's looking for a man that don't want her. She's looking for a man that does not want her. No man wants to deal with that. You know? They don't want a bitch that's, that's running around here, sitting around here challenging him all day. You know? They don't want that. They want a companion, not a competitor. Amanda Seals set out to be a competitor with every man she deals with. You know, with every man she deals with. And she always plays this victim shit. As if her personality is not a turn off to the world. Joe Button podcast was talking about her the other day. She has a terrible reputation. Nobody wants to work with her. She's unwork -wittable. She's a nut! Man, hold on, man. Y'all turn the chat up, man. Let's get the super chats up, man. We got to break through this algorithm, man. We almost at 500 people. Y'all support this ministry. Oh, Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying, nigga? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What, what make you think you greater than Jesus? Nigga. What make you think you greater than Jesus? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Swing the wind makes God. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Nigga. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. Can't save these hoes. You know, and it's always the black man and this, this, and this. You know, but she's hurt. She's running around here rejected. This is the definition of who hurt you. She needs to be asked this question, not us. We got the ability to live our best lives. We can get a young bitch anytime we want to. This old bitch is on her last whim. It's a wrap. You know? 
She getting up there. She gonna be up there with uh, what's the old girl Ross, Diana Ross, uh, daughter the the one the older one. She fine, but she be alone all the goddamn time. Tracy Ross, is that her name? She another one. She another one. Can't keep no nigga. Tracy Ellis. What? Where's the man? Posted all of these thirst pick pictures and can't keep a nigga. Y'all don't understand. These women getting rejected. Holly Berry always rejected. Some of these niggas had to kick her fucking ass. Because the bitch crazy. I'm telling you, it's something about these mixed light skinned bitches. When you got to leave them, they go fucking crazy because they've been they've been running around the world with immunity their whole life. They've been get, able to get away with everything. Doors have opened for them. They've been able to do and say whatever they want. Every woman has been jealous of them. Every black woman has been jealous of them. Let's keep it real. Every black woman been jealous of the light-skinned girl with the good hair. Y'all used to beat their ass in the hood. I was there. And when them bitches stop getting attention, they lose their mind. The thought of a bitch like that being alone literally makes them go crazy. They cannot handle rejection. Again, men, y'all niggas, y'all out here scared to approach women because you're scared of rejection. These light-skinned bitches out here, they are afraid of being rejected. I'm sorry, they can't handle rejection. So once they get rejected, they go crazy. Once they get scorned, they gonna make the world mourn. Everybody gonna feel their pain. If you put one of these bitches in pain, they're going to make you feel their pain. You know? Straight up. But this bitch always plays the victim. Trying to fight somebody. Everything rubs you the wrong way. I have, like, a nigga raised his motherfucking voice at me on this phone today. Uh, as he should. As he should. If a nigga ain't cussing you out, that ain't a man. You deserve every bit of cursing out you get. When you go to her Instagram, all she doing is ranting. Yelling, hooting, and hollering. This bitch is never happy. And this is what happens when you're dick deprived. It's only so much the vibrator can do. The vibrator can't spank your ass, hold you at night. See, see, this bitch ain't been held, hugged. You know, because she thinks she know every goddamn thing when she don't know shit. She really need to shut the fuck up. If she shut the fuck up for two years, I bet you she'd be married. If she learned that shutting the fuck up is an art form, and if she learned that art form and got that down, pat. She got that down, pat, man. I'm telling you. She be a catch. All of her problems stem from her talking. Shut the fuck up! She does not need a microphone. She needs a nice set of, 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 of Beats by Dre headphones. The last thing we need to hear is you talking. You talked yourself into every nigga dismissing your ass. You've talked yourself to the point where even the females can't stand your ass. She don't even have female friends. What bitch that look like this don't have a, a gang, a flock of female friends? You've talked yourself into a, such a bad reputation, you have to diagnose 
why people don't fuck with you. You you have to self-diagnose yourself to the point where you have to say, okay, I have autism. Just to try to further explain why people don't fuck with you. You're famous and you're getting kicked out of Emmy Awards and shit like that. As soon as they see you walk in the venue with your dress, you 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 lost your light skin privilege. She literally lost her light skin privilege. Ain't that crazy? She lost the pretty girl privilege and the light skin girl privilege. And we gonna stop acting like light skin girl privilege don't exist. Let's just keep it real. We not here to. I know it's. I know it's not right, but it's real. In its reality. Shout out to Staff Music for the show of love. With the five dollar holler. Say Amanda was a smart mouth little girl on Nickelodeon back in the 90s. I didn't ever watch that show, man. I never watched that show, man. I was a Power Rangers watching ass nigga. VR Troopers watching ass nigga. Ninja Turtles watching ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was. You know? You know, Family Matters watching ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cosby Show watching ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? A different world watching ass nigga. I didn't really watch that shit, man. King Yada. What the fuck, Yada? Yada sponsoring us again with another hundred dollar holler. Shout out to bro. He say. You know I love crazy women, but I don't find crazy women. I create crazy women. Now go put that. Oh my god! Fuck! Sick of you niggas, man, making me put this fucking robe on, man. I was, I was just bullshitting. (laughs) I was just (laughs) bullshitting. Oh my God! God damn! Pray for you, nigga. And I, man. You know, I know sometimes people tell you you need prayer and they're be, be, being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. What you need right now is prayer. It's prayer. Prayer changes things. See, without prayer, this would be a piece of cloth. It would be rags. Without without prayer, this would just be all in a bottle. Without prayer, it would just be soap with olive oil in it. Without prayer, but because of prayer, God's anointed is on it. He cared out all the boy and is reaching out to you right now. I want you quickly. I want you order in that personal pet package right now. Quick, I want you to move out right now. Don't procrastinate this. Don't put it off. I want you order in that personal pet package right now. It's our point of contact between you, God, and myself, and God is going to use it to cause the air cut out of the boy God's anointing is on that personal prayer package, just like his anointing is on me to pray and to help hurting people. The all-knowing of the holy has arrived. May blessings of the game be upon all my niggas and you lambs. Shout out to King Yada. You know, and King Yada... I don't think I don't see you, man, rocking them Minister Jack t-shirts, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm say no to single mother t-shirt. Y'all go to ministerjap.com for your Minister Jap merchandise. And y'all go to Patreon for them exclusives. My truck drivers, y'all check in. It's five dollar holler. Somebody else came in on the uh super chat. Shout out to Big T- uh Big Tay man with the five dollars, man. Don't think I don't see you, big dog. Don't think I don't see you. Let me see what he say. He say, Jack, remember the scene on Boomerang when Marcus cut off uh, the light-skinned Tisha Campbell and she started stalking him and trying to chase his dates away? Yes! Pervert. You are a pervert. I'm telling you, the worst thing you could ever do is cut off a bad bitch, man. When you cut off a bad bitch, man, she ain't never fucking, she can't recover. 
She can't, she don't know how to act. She don't know how to act, man. You know, I've never experienced that with dark skinned women. It's only been light skinned motherfucking bitches that stalked me before. And that shit's scary. Because when a woman stalk you, it's scary. You can't hit her like you want to. I would want to punch a bitch in the face. They will literally lie and they will lie, make up charges, allegations, and then they go on social media. That's what I don't like about relationships today. Everything that went bad, these hoes do a tell all, man. That is the man, that is the worst thing in the fucking world. They can't bow out gracefully and move the fuck on. They just have to fucking air you out. This is why niggas don't confide in you hoes. You know? Can't respect it, man. You the wrong way. You always trying to fight somebody. Everything rubs you the wrong way. I have, like, a nigga raised his motherfucking voice at me on this phone today. A rapper whose albums I own raised his voice on me on the phone today because I said I didn't like something someone else did. What? Why, why do you? She obviously don't have no homegirls. This is a this is a conversation you have with your homegirls. And see, this is disturbing. She is she is the light skinned version of Sansa Ray. The same way you seen Sansa Ray venting online every time she went through anything that was personal, that's how this bitch is. That's how these bitches are, man. You, this is how you can tell when motherfucker don't have no friends. Jose Ray don't have no friends. Don't have a friend. A. Singular. One. Not a group. One. The chat room. Y'all her friends. I got real niggas. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit y'all never gonna hear about. Nigga. Because I got homies. I roll with niggas. I mean, what the fuck? This is how you know you're socially awkward. You're just talking about a phone call you had. It got you turned up the way you coming online, doing all this shit. Obviously, she was trying to fuck with the rapper, and the rapper had to had to let her ass down, man. Get the fuck off my fucking phone, bitch. And he felt compelled to do that. He really felt like that was fine. Like he felt acceptable. He felt that was an acceptable way to speak to me. Yes, you deserve yes, it. Yes, he did. He really felt that was an acceptable. What are they saying in the comments? Damn, girl, that ain't right, girl. <laughs> you need a friend and a therapist. Way to speak to me. I wasn't even talking about him. And I think that it's really important to just really acknowledge. I don't know why y'all think yelling is not violent, but it is. Like y'all really be out here yelling at us. I see people in here saying the right answer. Y'all really be out here yelling at us. And you're yelling at us. See, this is what I'm talking about. She tells half the story. See, we have got to start hearing about the horror experiences that men have. I'm going to start looking up that shit, man. Men who are talking about her. How toxic this bitch is. And one thing I'm not doing in 2024, ain't no nigga motherfucking yelling at me again. I think it's so wild that somebody who reached out to me based on my merit and my intellectualism, I'm about to cry. I'm so, I'm so bothered by this. I think it is so wild that that person would disrespect me in such a serious way. This is what I'm talking about. You can't even argue with these bitches without them going right, going live. This is why niggas don't fuck with you. 
This is exactly why niggas will not fuck with you. These bitches are truly married to social media. I'm not going to have an argument with my girl and then come on here and go live with y'all. She know that and I know that. What the fuck can y'all do? And why the fuck do y'all need to know me and her argument? You have got to learn how to separate the internet from your real fucking life. This is a podcast. We're here to teach. We're here to go through what's going on in the media and what's going on with the game. That's what we do. But to take your emotions and come online every time, man, these bitches, man, you can't believe what you just did to me. Sit stupid, man. But that's what bitches do. That's what bitches do. Way. And and I think it's also trippy how quickly so many men will discard a woman. Like you not trying to protect our relationship. You just reached out to me to try and start a relationship and you're not even trying to protect it. You got you got cussed out because you are an unpleasant woman. And rather than to keep the shit between you and him and work it out, your fucking ass goes online and starts spilling the tea. This is why niggas don't fuck with you. And women like you shouldn't be fucked with. Women like that, you should bang them and give them fake names. And never tell them where you live. Real talk. Amanda Seals is a fucking idiot. And she think everybody trying to fuck her. I hate, don't you hate a bitch like that? That think everybody trying to fuck her? They think everything is some type of harassment? And they do that shit and shoot themselves in the foot and end up looking stupid because you're not trying to fuck them. This is why it's hard to even work with women. This is why it sucks to even have women in the workplace. I hate a bitch that think everybody want them. See, what happens is they was desirable as fuck back in the days and they still think that they the same motherfucker to this day. Amanda body is soggy. Okay? She got the body of a heroin addict now. You know? She got the attitude of a feminist. You know? And this always happens when when people just start being black. She had to go get a degree in being black. She's fascinated by the culture. A culture that we so, that we just, that we naturally grew up in. She didn't grow up in black culture. Not in Orlando where she stayed at. She always say she's Grenadian. I'm West Indian. Keep that West Indian shit to yourself. Stop trying to be conveniently black. You West Indian. You ain't black. Soggy titty motherfucker. And you too fucking skinny that has soggy titties. You know? Loose meat shawty. You know? Get out of here, man. You're soggy. And you think everybody trying to fuck you. You can't even get invited to a party without a nigga, without you thinking a nigga trying to fuck. Invited me to come to an Oscar party. And when I. 
Hold on. When I met the RZA, he invited me to come to an Oscar party. And Ooh. when I got to the address. That was RZA's fault. He shouldn't have never invited you. Should have never invited you. When I met the RZA, he invited me to come to an Oscar party. And Ooh. when I got to the address, it was a hotel. Uh oh. And I texted him and I was like, I'm not sure who you think I am I or what you think I'm about. <laughs> but I'm not going to come to your hotel room to yeah. watch the Oscars. And he called me. He's like, uh, it's a penthouse. There's several people here. <laughs> and he, <laughs> I get a stupid ass. Instead of inquiring, you know, what's going on, you know, what it is, you know, is it in a in a, in a uh, banquet hall room or whatever like that? No, nah, you automatically think this nigga trying to motherfucking smash. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be that overzealous bullshit that ruins the relationships of her in this industry. Dress, it was a hotel. Uh-oh. And I texted him and I was like, I'm not sure who you think I am. I now, hotels... Of those of that nature have big ass rooms. Like when I did uh the conference in uh in Vegas with Donovan Sharp, shout out to Donovan. Um, we was in a huge ass conference area at the Phoenician Hotel. But let these stupid ass hoes get to talking, they think everybody trying to fuck. And we're like, Shorty, you're not that important. What you think I'm about? <laughs> but I'm not going to come to your hotel room to yeah. watch the Oscars. And he called me. He's like, uh, it's a penthouse. There's several people here. And he <laughs> like we was in a conference room that held a thousand people. That's how big this conference room was with a stage and lights and everything. So, you know, you could throw big ass parties, New Year's parties in these type of places like, you know, $4,000 to rent them out type shit. Like you can really... You know, what the fuck is she talking about? She's a stupid idiot. Who you think I am? Oh, what you think I'm about? <laughs> but I'm not going to come to your hotel room to yeah. watch the Oscars. And he called me. He's like, uh, it's a penthouse. There's several people here. And he, <laughs> I get upstairs. It's like Erica Alexander, like the whole cast of the Wu-Tang show. I'm like, hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry about <Woo>! that. <laughs> Yay, Wu-Tang. See, this is why people don't fuck with her. You know? And then let her, and listen, listen to this, y'all. Let her not have went. She would have been online putting out the narrative that RZA tried to invite her to his hotel room. And she denied it. That would have been the story. That would have been the headlines. That would be what she ran with. Destroying the black man. And everything she does is to destroy black men. She just did uh, Shannon, uh, Shannon Sharp show. Right afterwards, she goes on a tirade disrespecting the show. After she was just on there kissing ass. This is the two-faced backstabbing ass shit that these black women do. And this one fucker talking about she's pro-black. You know? Oh, she for the black community. We got to bring back the black, black, uh, black family and all this shit. But the first person you come to destroy is the black man. And that, you know, black women destroy the black man because they can. Because society says that they can. You know? Society says that they can. And they will use every moment they have. We got 500 people in the room, y'all. They will use every moment they have to make that shit happen. Which leads us to why we're here today. Amanda Seals makes false allegations to this brother, Myron Rowe. Myron Rowe is a brilliant brother. You know, she almost ruined his career by saying that he sexually harassed her. We're going to get into this, break it down. She went on, did interviews, and the man never met her. 
That's the that's what that's what these bitches have the capability of doing, and that's what these bitches will do. No old uh old guys calling back now. Like, Are they uh, black? Because you you hot out here. <laughs> <laughs> no, now it's new. Now it's like DMs with emojis. You know, like a googly eye or a flames and <laughs> a flames. You know. You anybody See, they gotta stop interviewing this bitch and giving her a microphone. You know, because she's bound to say something that's detrimental to the black man. But let's go. Are you back? Yeah, because I'm usually curious sometimes. Mm -hmm. But the one person that I actually got excited about, like, who had dropped in my DMs, I basically, like, manifested two years ago. I was like, this person is going to eventually fall into my DMs. Mm -hmm. And, if, like, he did. We had a conversation. And, and she was just as thirsty as he was. But, again, being a socially awkward loser lame, you will fuck up a good situation. She was dreaming of this nigga. And um, I talk about this on my podcast, Small Doses. Like, within the first conversation, he's like, when are you coming to Boston? And I was like, well, I'll be there February 23rd. Well, we know he's from Boston For now. my okay. show. Yeah, right. we know he's from Boston. And he was like, clue. no, I need to see you before that. Mm. Easy, mm. B. Like, oh, ho, ho. E now, these black women say we don't take initiative. We don't show interest. But when we do, they say we thirsty. When we do, it's used against us. So actually liking a woman is wrong. I watch niggas get clowned on YouTube for, tr for, for trying to holler at a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Bitch be like, yeah, he tried to holler at me. That's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> How is that a diss? Yeah, he tried to he tried to holler at me. So how is that a diss? Nigga tried to holler, you said no, we kept it pushing. What the fuck is where's the fucking diss? Bitches like to try to hold that over your head like you should be ashamed of. Don't be ashamed of hollering at no woman. That's what you're supposed to do, nigga. It's the game, nigga. Fuck is wrong with these hoes, man? Fuck is wrong with these hoes? Easy B. Easy Benzino. B. Because. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, real rap. Notice how both of them bitches. Angela, you ain't got no nigga. But Angela Lee still, Angela Lee still be getting smutted out. See, this is what I'm talking about. These older sluts with microphones that can't retain no nigga. Ain't no way in the world Angela Lee supposed to be single. But she stay single. These exotic ass motherfucking hoes be crazy. <laughs> Real rap, old Amanda <laughs> would have felt like honored by that. Mm. Old Amanda would have been like, oh, he want to see me so quick. Like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, new Amanda with the wisdom and the security of self is mm -hmm. like. No, the new Amanda with the, um, the indoctrination of the bitch. Because her name used to be Amanda Diva. She just started using her whole name. Her name used to be Amanda Diva. That was her name. And we know what a diva is. How many married divas you seen? Any bitch professing the title of diva has not is not married. They are a bunch of divorced bitter bitches that look good. That nobody wants. Niggas would take a hood rat over Amanda any day. Get yourself a moldable hood rat or you want Amanda Seals. I'm taking a mold, I'm taking the moldable hood rat. The teachable hood rat. Hey. 
why is a man I ain't never met before so pressed off of one conversation for me to come see him? Furthermore, I did not ask about my availability. See, this is you overanalyzing it. Y'all hoes always talk you want to be spontaneous. What happened to all that? All you hoes want to be romantic. What happened to all that? All men ain't showing no interest. What happened to all that? Now when a nigga does that, you're turned off. This is why we're treating y'all like shit going forward. It's better for the both of us. Treat him like shit! <laughs> Treat him like shit. Furthermore, did not offer to pay my way. Mm. None of these things. It was just like, I need to see. Like, what? what is this? Well, I can't call it pressed only because... It is pressed. Nah, pressed bro. But it's no, listen, pressed. I'm going to tell you She's why. Pressed, you Nigga can't even talk with her. Why do y'all... See, this is what I was saying. I, I heard something very wise today. And I'm a, I, I want all y'all... I want to bring it to all y'all. Hold on, man. Hold on, y'all. Can I drop a little bit of wisdom for y'all, man? Can I drop a little bit of wisdom for y'all, man? Never argue with bitches. You cannot win an argument with a bitch. As a man, you will not win an argument with a bitch. This is why I don't argue with these motherfuckers. They want to debate and shit. What the fuck am I debating with you for when I know the fuck I'm right? Like with the passport niggas and all that. What y'all gonna convince me? I'm gonna change my mind? If that's your goal, you're stupid. But in fact, I'm stupid for engaging you. And that's how I look at these bitches now. I don't argue no more, man. I know I'm right. No matter what they say, I'm not going to be, my mind's not going to change. I'm not going to be convinced. You cannot argue with a bitch. They always got to have the last word, even when they're wrong. Well, I just feel like you should have just. Yeah. Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're going to have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public. People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, join the Patreon. It's starting as low as $5. Join. Peace.